George is our biggest giraffe on the other side of the zoo, by the way, rhinos. He's like 19 foot tall. Wow. He's huge in height, and he's big in weight. Oh. So the female one, you said you oh, wouldn't get her no, out. Is it she stubborn or how sick she is? She wouldn't come out. Is it just for you or would she not come out for anybody? Probably no. <laughs> I can get Ernie out. In weather like this, I, I have confidence in him. If it's dead hot like it has been the past few days, he, he's no chance. Right. He's all about keeping cool. Yeah. Um, so he's alright in this sense, it's more because he's a herd animal and he's got to lose his ante, he doesn't want to just go back to her and see how she's doing. So he'll happily hoover all the food. <laughs> but then he will have to go and see what she's doing. Oh. oh, I just presume they'd be like a breeding pair. No, no, they're not. So we're going to swap the big fella with another hippo, probably a hippo called Hoover, who lives in Wixnade Zoo. Because oh, they're related, they're not a breeding pair. And when Hoover comes here, he's likely to fight with Ernie, because that's what males do. So oh. it means moving Ernie onto another zoo as well. So you can have lots of girls, we can have one boy. So I'll be devastated when he does move on, but he has to. Yeah, yeah. So you can have loads of girls together, and that's where Godzilla's from. She's from Westfield and Spy Park. There's a lot of our family are from Norfolk. So would you not swap the female then? Is that not how it um, works? We could do. We'd rather have Godzilla here as a breeding female. Yeah. So what we'd run by is not... We don't own Bye, him or Godzilla. Um, we're run by what's called the endangered... Bye, Ed. 